bastards. I see you in the comments yesterday. Oh, don't go to Dubai. Oh, do you buy this? Two things. One, this channel is not a popularity contest. I'm not on here trying to wank off and appease you lot. I'm just putting out content. If you don't like it, piss off and watch someone else's videos. Second thing, if you got offered business class flights and accommodations, go to Dubai and meet and interact with your fans, even some of you that watch this channel, of course I'm gonna do it. I love meeting you guys. I am so grateful that I even have a following in the first place. I'm not, of course, gonna pass that off. Stop being knobs. I very much hope you enjoy this video I'm about to put out. And if you don't, instead of being a loser and heading to the comments, just get on with your life and watch someone else's content that doesn't offend you, all right? Should we carry on? Good. Two most controversial opinions. Number one, melon is the worst fruit to put in a fruit salad. It is always a filler. All fruit salads are easily 70% melon. Now I wish I could like melon. Yes, watermelon tastes disgusting. It tastes disgusting. Every time I have a salad, I'm disappointed with it, but there's a second controversial salad. You don't even know I know this, right? G-Wagon Brabus, that's money. Money, money, money. You know, you just, although they've got a great car, you gotta ask yourself, what's the personality like? Maybe lacking in a car like that. What are you trying to make up for? The majority of you are eating the wrong way around. Let me explain it to you. So usually they say that you should have your fork in the left and knife in the right, right? Is this how you eat? Is this how you eat? Yeah. Yeah, wrong, right? This is the correct way to eat. And everyone goes, oh, you're left-handed. And I'm like, shut up, listen. First of all, you have a pretty complex implement and a simple implement. This, the fork, has to prod, push, pick up, stab. The knife just has to go forwards and backwards, not to mention, this one has to come towards your face. Why would you use your bad hand to do all of those things and bring it near your face, right? Doesn't make any sense. Second thing, right? Paid him to do that for the YouTube bit. <laughs> Went up to him, snuck him in ten up. So listen, mate, we're gonna come around with the video. If you could just pretend that you follow me online. The majority of you weirdos, when you eat, you use the left hand to bring food to your mouth. But, if I was to give you this and I was to give you an ice cream, which hand would you use to pick up that? Your right hand. So why is it now that when I remove the knife and fork, it's your right hand that brings it to your face? Cereal, right hand. But then the second you bring a knife into the equation, you swap it round. It makes no goddamn sense, you idiots. Do you ever have a burning desire to spend money? I do. A few moments later. They don't, they don't let you film in there. Because you look dodgy. Look at Sean. Give me this. This is why. Look at this. Look at this. What do you look like? Suspicious, bro. Suspicious. Why? Who let their uncle out? Just saying. Let's say you're about to tuck in to a muffin, only because you haven't got like a carrot cake or something, and there was only a fork, and you're about to eat carrot cake with a beautiful door. What hand would you use to eat that carrot cake with? Right hand. Exactly. So why is it that when you bring a knife, into the equation, you would swap that round. Tell me. Because you're wrong and I'm right. So how about we go outside and we get a thumbnail for yesterday's video. The weird thing is, right, when you're making content, sometimes a thumbnail can be a bit of a ball leg, but why would you put five hours into a video if you're not gonna put five minutes into a thumbnail? There we go. You're worried about the security guard, aren't you? Yeah. Just got told off for taking photos. Guys checking through the footage, but let let me tell them what's just happened, all right? I had an idea for a thumbnail. I said, let's shoot it. You're shooting it, no offense to you, you weren't quite getting it right. So I take the camera and I take a picture of you. I finesse it. I'm like, wow, look at this. I give you back the camera. We don't get the shot. Security's coming. You're pooing your pants. Hey, I'm, I don't want to risk it. But by fate, we end up getting the money shot. You would have already seen it. It was on yesterday's video. I'm what do you edging. think of the rig? What do you think of the new rig, E.T.? What it's are we nice. saying? It's yeah, nice. It's fucking sexy, isn't it? Don't record this thing. What part did I just say to you? <laughs> What's happening? Why is the camera on when I said don't record? Is it opposite day for you? Can you turn that off? Get out of my face. Here we are, World Trade Center. Not that one in Dubai. Uh, should we go through that door, Luke? Yeah, let's just go up there. Cause I, want to... I miss this, E.T. Get a nice photo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to... Uh, British. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm cool. You're doing so... Can you call it, Marcy? Marcy, Marcy. 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 Mar
Yeah. There you go. Thanks so much, Dave. All the best. See ya. She touched my bum. Oh yeah, sick. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> was it a cameo? Yeah. Chris has drawn me to see if I do a muscle up. <laughs> I reckon he trained for this. I reckon he's been there <laughs> in the box. He's like, right, the second we get to the fight. Mark my words, next year, I'll go away and hide in. And I'll practice. This is about me. More, more. This is kind of my blog. Fruit yeah, I, I feel unbalanced because <laughs> I don't have a backpack on. I keep a spare sim card, a spare sim card on me. So we are about to do our sound check, AB check, little things like you got to make sure that your clicker works. If a clicker doesn't work, you're in trouble. A bit of subtle product placement if you might not have noticed. We released a drink. Oh, James, you're a sellout. Shut up. These are really big. I like this. Oh. Yeah, a little bit. This is. Fighting with it just a tiny bit. Sorry? Yeah, yeah, good. Of course. I didn't get to speak to you. I didn't actually hear you speak like to go out of this. Oh, sick. Yeah, this will be fun. This one's going to be a um, thing. bit of a haram in there. Yeah. Nothing disrespectful to the culture. Just okay. taking a few jokes close to the line. Security labs are pretty big. Pull cool guard on that one. Hello, boss. I'll shoot the single one there, but I'll play dead with this one. Play dead. <laughs> If you look at that face, he ain't scared. You expect to see a bit more fear in the eyes. Which one? 2 4. We got a 10 9 in process over. We got a 10. 2 4 rubber dick. Come in. Moving out. So, for my body clock, for my body clock, it's 4 in the morning. Do I look bothered? No, it's also 4 in the morning for your body clock. Probably a lot of people confused as to what a personal trainer and a podcaster would be doing with a live show. Because we can't share too much of it because we've got a tour to go on. Imagine stand-up comedy, TED talk, synergistically meeting in the middle. I wonder if there's a little dog for me to do a Tried to do a pre-game poo tomorrow. No, oh, it's different. very nice out here, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Very, very nice. Well, this looks good. This looks very good. Uh, one, two, one, two, one, two. Three. America, if you want to be a part of this, get your tickets now. JamesSmith.live. Canada too. A couple of shows left for tickets for Canada. Toronto, Vancouver, unfortunately sold out. Edmonton. Calgary. We still have tickets. We're coming for you. New York, Chicago, Austin. We will be in you soon. Do you want us to be in you? Awful. Anyway, see you there. On the way to the event now to do a meet and greet, I actually really enjoy the meet and greets. Uh, I used to be in the crowd at the fitness events, so I remember how nervous I'd get just saying hello to the people that I followed online and that I really admired. And even I would stutter my words and struggle to get them out. I, I, I really, really meet you that minute there. So it's quite nice. I like to have fun with people. Um, if you put an Android in front of me for a selfie, you're getting a bit of bad one. But looking forward to it, you're good. Oh, right. Now, I'm finally fucking here. I'm gonna do the cross. 
Guys, get yourself some barefoot shoes, because like, you know, being barefoot. How is that better than being barefoot? If you want to be barefoot, just be barefoot. Millions of years we evolved without them. These, I'll tell you what. If you want to go through life, never meet in the love of your life. Imagine this, lads. One day you're going to meet the girl of your dreams. If you're wearing these, you ain't got a chance. Yeah, it's a really nice drink. It's the flavor's really good. It tastes like orange, and yeah, it's just a nice, tasty drink. We didn't think it was going to taste nice. It's all right, you know. I'll give you that. Oh, it's, it's, it's all right. right. Oh, I like that. I think it's nice. I like it actually. I'm not even just saying hi, man. I actually like it. What do you think? It's nice, bro. It's good. It's, it's, nice. right. it's good, bro. It's, it's tonic. Here's another question I have for you. I don't want to take up too much of your time. If you were like a mid level influencer, I consider myself kind of in that mid level, what would you do to kind of get in that upper echelon? Keep going. It took me four years to get to 10,000. It took me another four, uh, another four years to get to a million. So 10,000 was my halfway. Yeah. So like, thousand. yeah, so like a lot of people, my first year I got 800 followers, my second year got to 2,000. And I overtook my rugby club and I was like, I'm fucking big time, man. <laughs> I got more followers than a fucking rugby yeah. club player. Yeah. So yeah, like, if you imagine like a snowball rolling down a hill, it's that marginal, like, uh, it's that compounding interest effect, right? Yeah, for sure. And also, you're still discovering and determining what your audience is receptive to. All well, that, we are uh, finished at the Fitness Expo. <laughs> Lovely meet and greet. I reckon on the... I reckon maybe like a little beach car. Go somewhere overpriced for dinner. Room. And then it's fucking back this way. Go get some food. Yeah. Yeah. We smell that. It smells like bad decisions and a hangover tomorrow. I'm starving. Are you hungry? I'm yeah. I need, a, I need a tiny vegetable of some kind. I need oh, a, like, fiber. give me a fucking oh, lick of carrot. A lick of carrot right now.